What's up, YouTube? Professor McCullough here. And today, we're gonna do long bone anatomy. And we're going to do that with the help of uh, a Popeye's chicken ball. But uh, before we do that, let me eat first. Be right back. <laughs> And uh, here's our end result. And uh, chicken bones are a little bit different than uh, human bones, but uh, it's gonna serve our purpose, I promise. Okay, so the first thing that we need to know is that this long part in the middle right here, this is called the diaphysis. And the diaphysis, oh, I dropped it. And the diaphysis is actually the toughest part of the bone. Now on each side of the diaphysis, we have what we call the epiphysis. And the epiphysis is mostly spongy bone material. It has a lot of a high concentration of red bone marrow, which is where um, a lot of young red blood cells are uh, created. And you can actually feel it. So the next time you eat some chicken, really check out the bone and you can actually tell that this part is a lot softer than this part. Some people actually eat this part and eat the bone marrow out. But if you do that, you're nasty. There's also a small part, a transitional part between the diaphysis and the epiphysis, and it's called the metaphysis, all right? That's a lot of physis, but you know, I'm trying to make an emphasis. I thought I was like, wow. I'll leave now. You guys are really gonna like this next part. So the top part right here where the gristle was, some people eat the gristle, some don't. I, I happen to, but uh, actually I ate it by accident. I didn't mean to eat it, but I ate it by accident. But it's not even called gristle. I don't know why we call it that. It's actually called the articular cartilage. And the articular cartilage is just there for shock absorption. So, you know, the bone won't crack under that type of pressure. Now, the actual substance that covers this long bone is called periosteum. Periosteum. Now, earlier I mentioned that the diaphysis was um, very hard and very brittle. And that's what we call a compact bone, okay? And then again, I mentioned that the epiphysis was actually created of um, soft or spongy bone. Now, if we were to turn this bone inside out, very inside, very core of the bone, we call that the medullary cavity, okay? And on the outside of that cavity, we have the endosteum. And endosteum is basically connective tissues that connect from the inside into the outside of the diaphysis. The medullary cavity is also another part um, of the bone where um, blood cells are created. And also it's made up of adipose or fat tissue. I'm gonna go ahead and bite this off. Okay, don't judge me after I did that. So if you guys check this out, if you guys check this out, now what we're really looking at is these spaces of bone connected by what we call trabeculae. And in between these spaces is filled with a red bone marrow. And the red bone marrow is gonna be responsible for actually housing the young and developing um, red blood cells. I hope you guys enjoyed that video just as much as I did making it. And uh, it tasted really good to make it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time for another video.